Hello, my dear learners. My name is Ashish Jain. I am an assistant professor at the Department of Computer Applications at the Bhopal School of Social Sciences. I have done my bachelor's in mathematics, master's in computer application, and M.Tech in information technology. Apart from computer subjects, I take subjects like business mathematics and principles of statistics. In this course, I will take you to a wonderful journey of numbers and their use in solving day-to-day -day problems in our business world. So this is a brief outline of our course. In this five days, we will cover this module in steps. In day one, I will introduce you to this topic. I will give you overview of the syllabus. In day two, I will be introducing you to the topic of simultaneous equations. In day three, we will see various methods of simultaneous equation. In day four, we will continue with all the other methods of simultaneous equations. And in day five, we will see some word problems using simultaneous equations. Now let us introduce with the topic mathematics. You must be wondering what is the use of mathematics in business. In fact, mathematics is the cradle of all creations, without which world cannot move an inch. Be it a cook or a farmer, a carpenter or a mechanic, a shopkeeper or a doctor, an engineer or a scientist, a musician or a magician, a banker or a baker, everyone needs mathematics in some or the other forms in their day-to-day -day lives. Mathematics is the science that deals with the logic of shape, quantity and arrangement. Maths is all around us. It is an inevitable part of our daily lives, including mobile devices, architecture we see, both old as well as the new modern architecture, the art, money, engineering, and even sports. So let us see what is the definition of mathematics. The word mathematics is derived from a Greek word mathema, which means knowledge, study, and learning. Mathematics is the study of measurements, relationships, and properties of quantities using numbers and symbols. So what all topics are included in this mathematics? In mathematics, we study topics such as quantity, in which we make use of number theory. We have structures in which we make use of algebra. To study space, we use geometry. And to study the change of any phenomena, we use the concepts of mathematical analysis. It makes a man methodical as well as systematic. It gives us the power of reasoning, creativity, abstract or special thinking, critical thinking, problem solving ability, and even effective communication skill. This is the reason in every competitive examination, mathematics forms an integral part of evaluation. Now we come to our topic, business mathematics. You see, mathematics is an important part of managing business. Because business and mathematics go hand in hand, as there is a need of business enterprise to manage the money at some point or the other which requires to make decisions, and for this, you require the knowledge of mathematics. Business is always surrounded with challenges, which need to be dealt with in a proper manner, on daily basis, and can be effectively solved by the use of mathematics. These problems that occur on daily basis can be effectively solved, and hence, mathematics not only helps to calculate, but also to analyze the business problems. Learning and using business mathematics is a very important part of any business. It helps us to know the financial conditions, carry out the measurements involving interest calculation, higher rates, salary, tax deductions, depreciation, etc. So business mathematics is also a part of any important topic. It includes subjects like statistics and probability, which are analytical tools that provide solution to various business problems. This is a definition of business mathematics. Business mathematics is a mathematics used by commercial enterprises to record and manage business. These are the fields in which business mathematics is used. It includes accounting, inventory management, marketing, sales forecasting, and financial analysis. There are many situations in business that require the use of mathematics. These include production cost calculations, price determination, profit measurement, financial analysis, sales forecasting, and market trend analysis. If a business has to survive and succeed, it needs to look after the finances and make the necessary arrangements for it. So understanding of business mathematics is important to maintain the profitable operations and accurate keeping of the records. It is required right from the beginning of the pricing decisions to the products and services it offers till the end when we need to check if the budgets are met or not. Production cost calculations. 
Before one formally starts production and establishes its business, it is very important to estimate the cost that would be incurred in the relation to our expenses. If a business has to survive, it has to look after various factors, most importantly the finances, and make necessary arrangements for it. So understanding business mathematics is very important to maintain profitable operations and accurate keeping of records. It is required right from the start of the pricing, the product and the services, till the end when we need to check if the budgets have met or not. Before one formally starts production and establishes its business, it is very important to estimate the cost that would be incurred in relation to manufacturing such as cost of raw materials, machinery, rent, administrative expenses, etc. In addition to these basic expenses, there are other associated costs involved such as marketing, warehousing, interest repayment and loans, etc. Once all the expenses relating to production have been included, it would be easy to estimate the profit from it to sustain and remain competitive in the market. Hence, accurately determining the cost associated with each item is the basis for a strong business. The second factor is price determination. When a business successfully de determines its costs, the next task is to price the product correctly so that it generates the right amount of cash flows for the future requirements of the business. Charging the correct selling price would ensure that the product remains profitable. Profit measurement. It requires determining the net profit by subtracting the operating costs from the total amount of sales or revenue during a period. This helps us to find out if the products are being charged enough to continue the business operations and to meet the future expectations. Financial analysis. It is a very important field in which we make use of business mathematics. A business needs to project its revenue and expenses from this. There is a need to analyze the financial health of a business. We need to do sensitivity analysis of knowing how an increase or decrease in sales figures or pricing could affect the business. It helps in determining how each employee contributes to the business and what will be its effect. Using business mathematics helps in making these interpretations and to take business to a higher level. Now mathematics typically used in businesses and commerce include following. Elementary arithmetic, we use elementary arithmetic by means of fractions, decimals, ratio, proportion, percentage, etc. Elementary algebra, statistics and probability, calculus, matrix algebra and linear programming. Any person who wants to make a career in business mathematics must have a knowledge of three subjects like economics, finance and business apart from a good oral and written communication. Companies employ mathematicians for these following posts. They can be actuaries, they can be financial analysts, they can be business analysts, market research analysts, security analysts and logistics managers. Now we come to the overview of our syllabus. The syllabus of business mathematics has been divided into five units, each unit having certain chapters that are related to each other. The unit one will start with ratio, will cover sacrificing and gaining ratio and proportion. Then we will move on to percentages. We will see the use of commission, discount and brokerage. In unit 2, we will see simultaneous equation which is the topic of this session, quadratic equations, preparation of invoices and introduction to the linear programming. Unit number 3 will cover elementary matrix and set theory. Unit number 4 will cover logarithms and anti-logarithm that are used to convert higher complex calculations into simpler problems, simple interest and compound interest. Unit number 5 will cover averages and profit and loss. So this is a brief of, of the syllabus. Now this brings us to the end of the day 1. Let us conclude what we have learned. I have introduced you a topic of mathematics. We have seen what is business mathematics and what is the use of mathematics in business. We have seen some applications of business mathematics and I have also introduced you what are the career options in business mathematics. Then we move on to the introduction of our syllabus. I hope this would have generated some interest in this topic to you. Thank you.